Um, and then there was Tabumbeki before him, who was just dry. <laughs> Like try, Savannah, try like Piltong, try, try. <laughs> if there was a black white walker, Tabum <laughs> 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 I'm a white walker. I take my whiteness from walking. Um, and then I think with Julius Malim, Julie, Julie, Julie. <laughs> Julie Stark, I'm quasi. Quasi tab. And then go figure Kalima Mutante, two minutes. Old or. Say advert the president. Hold on. 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 <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Mm. A lot of young comics want to follow that template. That, that template. Mm. And it's like, guys, no. Like, mm. you got to be absolutely in love with mm. this thing. Yep. Like, you can literally go from hosting the Samas and having 11 million people watching you to being back at Kitchener's. Are you trying to tell us something? The, the next. <laughs> no, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's for the love. Yeah. Oh, Com- oh. Comedy is for the love. The, your stage can change any time. Oh, you can go yes. from the glitziest, most glamorous stage where you're making people laugh. But come Tuesday, mm. you are back at Kitchener's performing to 40 people who've paid 30 bucks to come and in and watch you. And if you love it, you. That's it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But what, what, what I'm finding with these young cats is they think that it's just going to keep... I'm going to start at Kitchener's. Uh, then I'm going to start only doing it. No. Full circle, Bob. Full circle. One moment you're hosting uh, uh, corporate for MTN and wow, glamorous. Yeah. Next day, you're in Rustenberg, Rusty Cafe. And the thing is, you need to Killing. be in those places to be in touch with reality. Exactly. Because the summers, exactly. now you're losing the people. Yeah, exactly. And that's, and that's what comedy is. It's, it's, a, it's a for the love of the game thing. Like if you, Even if you look at like Trevor, Think about how hard Trevor Noah has to work, guys. The Daily Show is exactly that. It's daily. Mm. It's yeah, but he's got a script. He's got a script. He's got a team of like a hundred and eighty so something people. Where's the work in that? It's it's constantly on. It's constantly on. Did you see this just happen? Let's put mm. this in. What do you think? Let's you're always got to be switched on. You always got to be switched on. Yeah. And then during that, Trevor is touring. Gigging yeah. every weekend. He's a fucking hard worker, bro. Do you know what I mean? But what, what gives in him that, that, that beast? In one month, he works more than I do in the whole year. Do you see what? <laughs> <laughs> Two years. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he put himself through that? Is he the For benchmark? The love of the game. Trevor, Trevor is... Trevor is not the benchmark of, 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 of comedy. Mm. But he is... Like as far as inspiration goes mm. you know like it's like it's like being a it's like being a Beyonce fan you don't need to like Beyonce's music to yeah. be a fan yeah 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 you know? yeah 100% you appreciate yes every work about ethic work ethic yes. packaging mm, and whatnot. Mm, mm, mm. Trevor is exactly that because there's there's always a lot of people who have opinions ah, I don't think he's uh, it doesn't matter doesn't if you matter think he's funny or not it's neither here or there look at what he's doing oh the look man what he's doing on a global scale you Fuck. know and look what it's doing for us. In yeah. Turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for for comedians to be taken seriously at a corporate level, it was because mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. Trevor, yeah. because of people like Achis Oledicha, because of Trevor, because David of David Gal. Mm. Yeah. You know, so. Like, do you guys get a lot of groupies, bro? Do we get a lot of groupies? Yes and no. Mm. Yes and no. Like, we thought we got groupies until we started hanging out with. DJs and musicians. <laughs> Yay! Then you realize, hi, 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 hi. You're getting leftovers. Marinza. Hi. Comedy yeah. groupies. Because like DJs, guys, DJs, and DJs don't do any work. No nah. Offense. Nah, nah, not at all. DJs don't do any work. But the groupies, they hang around the DJ. <laughs> yeah! 
Come on, ah, ah. Ah, what's going on? Yeah. Rona, you will be working. Yeah. Hour on stage. You gotta make show. love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Tell me a last one. Ah, 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 ah. No, but but here's here's another thing with us. Because comics are so engaging, we like to engage with our groupies or our fans. Audience. So we don't we don't treat like like we don't have this thing. Comics are just in tune, like in touch with people. Mm. So we we like to be like in, in, in the mix with what's happening. So if someone naturally approaches us, no matter how crazy looking, no matter how left field, mm. no matter we just wanna chat. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's how you learn, that's where you get interesting and things. Content, yeah. And content. Yeah. You know, so we we don't have that hey, I'm too busy for your approach. What about snow bunnies? Have you ever been with a snow bunny? Yes, I was actually the one of the founding fir- fathers founding fathers of snow bunnyism <laughs> in South Africa. Was understand? Nasi, na. Ya wona hii boy. Hii, hii. Ah. Hii. We are the originators yeah, of yeah, snow bunnyism. Yeah. yeah. I the black coffee. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so I had a white girlfriend when <coughs> I'm sure, yeah, most most of, most of my friends had not seen white people yeah. yet. Because I already had a white girl. I had a white girlfriend when I was six. I, I noticed um, that nobody's like guys that they can make them laugh. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I, I, yeah. I, it makes sense what you're saying. And then my snow my snow burning on a bang shang is thin. Actually, my snow bunny story is actually quite sad. Eh? Mm, what happened? I had, a, I had a snow bunny uh, mm. um, in Greenside. Because uh, before Mondio, I yeah, 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 yeah. the life was great. We were levels, yeah. levels were up. Yeah. We were Greenside, the buddy. I was in Greenside. Huh? I was in Greenside uh, Jolly, Primary. Jolly Cools. Uh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jolly yeah, yeah. Rogers. Hey? And then, uh, and then uh, obviously, uh, things didn't go well. Mom and dad separated. Yeah, yeah. Then I, uh, you know, had to go. Go down an arch in life. I uh, moved back to the hood. <laughs> went to Mondio. Still, you know, trying to keep it. Yeah. But the thing is, I had a snow bunny in Greenside, right? Mm. Um, and I had friends as well in Greenside. Yeah. Some of them uh, who happened to be rappers. Yeah. I won't mention any names. Uh-huh. You know, like rappers, a.k.a. like uh, mm. someone who MCs, mm. a.k.a. someone who, you know, yeah. who like busts the flow. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so me and my friend Kenan... We're very close, we're very, yeah. very close, best friends. Yeah. And then um, and then I left Greenside. Okay. I left Greenside. Obviously, there was those days of no cell phones, just landline and mm. whatnot. Pages. And then, yeah. And the pages were still, cut, they, they were new. They were still <laughs> selling them on TV. <laughs> I. Then the next year, I got a call from AKA's mom mm. on the landline to say, hey, my boy, I'm throwing a birthday party for Kenan. I'd like you to come and surprise you. Yeah. I shop. Nice. Yes, Santa Clam, I'll be there. Shop. Buy a gift. Shy gift set, boy. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know the, the cologne gift. It was a brute. Yeah, brute yeah. gift set with the brute spray with a roll on gift wrap. Oh, yes. uh, is there any other cologne other than brute? Uh, Donna. <laughs> Full bouquet <laughs> with an aftershave. That time, no one has facials. Yeah, yeah. I get to Kenan's house. Knock on the door. Kenan comes to the door. He opens. You know when someone's happy to see you, but then they have that look like, Yay! 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 <laughs> so I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, we haven't seen each other for months. Are you good? Yeah. And then I heard a familiar voice coming around the passage. Yeah. Hey, baby, who's there? <laughs> Whomst are you? <laughs> my snow bunny, Tuana. <laughs> I'm really one of you, my Ben. How can you leave a snow bunny unattended? <laughs> you are my Ben. <laughs> but the thing is, because you're a kid, you can't just. Like if I was an adult, I would have just thrown the brute on the floor. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ran away and be like, ah, oh, screw you guys. But because you're a kid, while this is happening, you can see jumping castle later. I'm a snake, I'm a balloon. <laughs> So you still go in. Yeah, yeah. So now, you, you know how it's like bouncing on a jumping castle? Look what it is. <laughs> 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 there, there, he's in there. Like, ah, boy. 
hard and fun. Now, how can you leave a snow pioneer? <laughs> So now, can you still listen to AK's music, dog? <laughs> or you like this nigga? For life, I said you must save. Good man, number five, baby. Salad. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, Cause I saw you didn't win any summers. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Budi mu mu kholo. Rakatakat. Oh, that was God. that was me when the nominations were being read backstage. Raba shaka raka taka raka. And then my phone like Kelly. Where is Kwanja? Kwamba Kwanja. I know, I know, but we cool, we cool with the brother. I yeah. Know. Do you still All remember? Water under the bridge. Do you still there remember? There were more snow bunnies after that. <laughs> Do you still remember how your daughter was conceived? Ooh. Mm. As he drinks some tea. <laughs> Scariest thing ever, boy. Yeah. Um, oh, dog. I'm not proud to say it, but I was not bathed the day my daughter was conceived. <laughs> there was no brute inside. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I remember, I remember uh, my baby mama woke me up. Mm. Uh, like, hey, we have to go for a checkup. I was like, I can't go. It's like, no, we have to go now. Mm. I was like, now? She's like, yeah, we're late. Now. I'm like, but we said we're going to do an afternoon. She's like, no, I need to go now. Mm. I, so I was like, you know what? It's just a checkup. Mm. And I never leave the house without showering, ever. Mm. So I'm like, right, let me put on my shorts, skipper, flip flops, take her to, because I was living in Newtown at the time. Mm. And um, so we went to, is it Park Lane? Park yeah, Lane. Park Lane Clinic, yeah. yeah. I used to stay near there. Eh? Yeah, nice mm. nice part of town. Mm. Sophisticated. Yeah. Old money. Oh, go guy, go Perry and all that. Yeah. So I, t- I took her there, and we were with, uh, with uh, the guy, mm. mm. yes. Mm. And she man, was... Man or female? She was... Uh, hey, female. Kale la make. You think check or something? Ah, ah, I'm so check. 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 No, dog. So, yeah. so she, she literally did a scan on my daughter, on, 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 on my baby mama's stomach. Mm. And they saw that my daughter's uh, umbilical cords were wrapped around her. Oh, baby. that's scary, man. So they're like, yo, this is suffocating, baby. Baby has to come. No. Wow. I'm like, uh, as in today. <laughs> <laughs> now, as in next week now, or today now. She's like, right. she's suffocating. as she's saying that, she's like, mommy, you go what, what, over here, daddy, you take these forms. Go. I'm like, what? All of a sudden, there's people in the room. People yeah. come, sorry, mommy, this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, what the hell is happening? That time, I've got a brand new Blackberry. Yo, this is how long ago. So. I don't know how to use this thing. <gasps> It's brand new. I don't. I don't know and how it's to use. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm like, well, how do I use this thing? Because I'm trying to phone people to say, yay. <laughs> Dog. Next thing, I'm being rushed. I'm, they're putting stuff on me. I'm signing forms. What? What? Then they had to go for. So, so my daughter was two months premature. Mm. So they had to go for two months. Uh, a cesarean. A cesarean, yeah. But we were going to go for cesarean anyway because yeah. we wanted to keep things the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I've seen the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> things must go back to regular, regular programming. <laughs> Yay. So, so, while they were doing the cesarean, uh, my baby mom was like, yo, what's happening there? Because they just, they literally, they inject you and you're numb from the neck down. Yes, yes, yes. So she's like, well, what's happening down there? Yeah. I was like. She was still awake. She was awake. She didn't pass out. Mm-mm. Wow. Like they are cutting through your stomach. They're cutting <laughs> through seven layers. She's like, I want to see. <laughs> like, what? Like, yeah, record. Mm. So there I was. You recorded. I recorded it on this Blackberry. As they cut through seven layers of skin. Mm, I couldn't watch. Just bro. blood sucking at it, blood sucking it. 
And then they pulled the baby out. Mm. And like, I'll never forget that, dude. that guy need to... Because that's supposed to be a magical moment. You know? It's supposed to be, oh my God, here's you. Oh, what? That lady took out the television. Yo, looks like dead. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> what's the need for the yo? How amazing is that moment, and I, and I didn't know that it was a boy or a girl. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. But how uh, amazing is that moment, bro? It's the, yeah, dude. Yeah, there's, there's falling in love. With Boma T D so that's not for the <laughs> But falling in love is is the day you meet yeah. your human. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But you had an experience that I wanted, man. Cause I was really, I wanted like the whole thing of because I was still on air at the time. So I wanted the whole thing while I'm drinking link, I'm like, sorry guys, I gotta go. And then come on, boss, hey, <laughs> listen man, I gotta <laughs> Dave, listen. <laughs> the baby's here. <laughs> Gandhi. Heron, Heron, for fuck. What must we tell the listeners? Uzo ya after it. Uzo monogu incubation. I went to the hospital with shit for all day. Sikuru must go. But you okay? We are going in now. <laughs> There was nothing dramatic. <laughs> I, was like, ah, I was ready to go push, baby. Was it, was it natural? No, 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 cesarean as well. Oh, okay. But I, I didn't okay, take a video. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take a video. When my son came out, I thought they were going to give him to him. But at first, I'm shop on you. But Papa, just to wake oh, him up. This is not like he's And he still thinks he's inside. He's trying to climb. <laughs> Refugo for me. No. Yeah, but it was magical, <laughs> dude. It was magical. Dude, yeah, like I only I only came to the next day that yo. Yeah. I'm a dad. Yeah, yeah. How magical, life changes. How, it, it it changes from that day. I think a lot of things make sense after that. Yeah. How how old is your your boy now? Ah, uh, he's 3. Three, yes. yes, you must enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 enjoy, enjoy that. Stage. He looks like his mother, thank goodness. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey. At least he's gonna lose his virginity before 24, <laughs> unlike the father. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, all right, cool. We need to wrap this up, man. I thought it was gonna be here the whole day. So, listen, we're gonna play a game since comedians can't he let you have play. as in lay L. Crane. I love my Roy Post when I vaporate high. Lay Earl Grey in a staying power. So since comedians uh, get most of the material from politicians. Yes. We're going to play a game called So You Think You're a Politician. It doesn't make sense, but I just wanted to call it that. Okay. I like the title. Sketchy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, so you think you're funny. Yeah, so yeah. you think you're yeah, a yeah. politician. I get it. Hey, Tiff. Hi. He's high. He's going to finish off this leather jacket. Watch. <laughs> All right. Cyril Ramaphosa's presidency. Yes. And uh, providing some kind of hope for the country. Your thoughts? Mm. You know, here's my thoughts about Cyril Ramaphosa. There's absolutely nothing funny about our current president. Yeah. Because he's the real deal. Yeah. He is the real deal. There were, you know, the, our previous president, uh, something funny because he was... He was out, mm. you know. Uh, Ubaba was Ubaba, mm. you know. Papa Jacob was like our grandfather, you know, the one who's retired but made a lot of money. Yes. So he still has the ability to come in and tell everyone shit. And you can't, you know, you can't, can't say anything to him, even though he might not know a couple of things. He's still, like, smart mm. and mm. Uh, street smart and whatnot. But there was a lot of and humor. He tries to speak English and then you yeah, laugh at him. Then you laugh at him, then he's like, ha, ah, you can laugh at me, but <laughs> it was a lie. I'm alone, man. Yeah. No, so so Jacob gave us material from number counting to you know 924, 5,000. Um, and then there was Tabumbeki before him who was just dry. <laughs> Like try, Savannah. Try. Like Piltong. Try. Try. <laughs> if there was a black white walker, Tabum <laughs> 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 oh, I am a white walker. I take my whiteness from walking. Um, and then I think with Julius Malim. Julie, Julie. 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 <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> 
Quase. <risos> quase. <risos> quase tava. E aí, eu fico com o cara two minutes. O O Sai, advente, presidente. O Rô. O Rô. O Rô. O Rô. O Rô. O But now, hey, Papa Cyril, dog. Uh, yeah. Hey, Papa Cyril, very hopeful, man. This is this is a guy who's who's about his money. But more than that, like what's what impressed me the most when he gave us his 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 first speech, and he delivered it in like, if I'm not mistaken, it was seven or eight different languages, mm. and he hit them all, dog. Like, nailed it. Nailed it. Like what I mean. Well, he he spoke in in uh, Chivenda, mm. Songa, Zulu, Swana, Afrikaans, English, and that was beautiful for me because it says here's a guy who understands all of us. Yeah, not not someone like like have you, I don't know if you've seen Musi my man. Yes, when, yes, when, yes. Yeah, when Musi speaks English, yeah, he's beautiful. speaking to his snow bunnies. Yes, yes. When he speaks Afrikaans, yeah, yeah. Ha, Venek. Hey! Yay! You know in the Venex sounds like it's hitting potholes. <laughs> Nicky Baka Huri, what? <laughs> Mommy Long, hey, Bahai, Bahai, Tsui. It's just that, uh, Nikiri. Uh, what? Even the terms of it, and these. It's too many sound effects in vendors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. So, yeah, so for me. There's, honestly speaking, I think we have a bright future ahead of us. Uh, yeah. All right. Absolutely. State of the Capture Commission. Is it another commission or does it look like we're going to get results? Uh, As in people are going to be, you know, um, brought to book. Uh, let me tell you something about South Africa. We protect rich people. Yeah. Because we need their money to survive. Mm. Um, sometimes we keep people around just so their money can be in circulation. Hmm. If you're worth 300 million rand, we can't put you in jail and freeze your 300 million. Shit, I never thought about it like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, these people that we all want to capture. That's like in the club. Get you know what I mean? Of the imagine, imagine, the th- imagine throwing out the Ubu put plaza. Because <laughs> he's wearing a cap. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> <We're gonna pay laughs> we know it's the law not to wear caps. We won't wear the caps. Itai faag again. Spunuk pools, Atina. Please. Please. You're right. You know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, Doc. So, I, I think it's all good and well that we have this public display of, yeah, we're going to get him, but we're not going to put away a bunch of people who are potentially last time controlling. Was with, uh, Shabir Sheikh, ne? That was the last yeah. time. Yeah. Then what happened with Shabir? Mm. Fuck his sick note. <laughs> He tattooed a sick note. Zofa next week. Zofa bati. Ikono reantitis. Oh, uh, <laughs> why do we like protests so much as a country? Uh, because it encompasses all the things we love doing as a people. Mm. Singing, dancing, yeah. and looting. Yeah. That's what we love doing. We love singing, we love dancing, and we love looting. Um, in that order. First, like singing. Mm. Because uh, that's how we were raised. Mm. You know, if, you, if you're raised in my generation, you'll know your mom used to put you here mm. with, a, with, a, with a, yes, yes, a thingy. Yes. And they would sing. And whenever you still have those blankets? But they are there. Yeah. They are there. Who they are there. Those prams now, dog. Those, you know, those 28,000 prams with a, with a <laughs> Range Rover leather. Yeah. You're like, what? I don't even have this leather in my car. <laughs> you start looking at these privileged faces. Bloody swine shit. This leather and Tuana on a pram. Yeah, you know those prams. Yeah, yes. hey. No dog. So I'm and, like and I, when I got my son the pram, I'm like, I'm glad he's young. <laughs> <laughs> he can't see. <laughs> <laughs> he won't know the difference. <laughs> and then these bastards don't like the pram. Yeah. Like, do you know how much I spent on this thing? <laughs> uh, no dog. So so yeah. so um What's this? Uh, what's Protest. this? What's this? Protest. Mm. We love singing. We love dancing. We love looting. Um, our parents would sing to us. It would soothe us. You know, like just 
when you when you lay on your mom's back and you just feel the vibrations. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's worldwide. Even America, all they do is sing. Yeah, yeah, but theirs is more like we are the pearl. <laughs> Rula, there's, there's a bit of <laughs> Sounds like my piano. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it gives it gives you something to do, man. Because also, most of the time, the people that are in the protests and whatnot, it's cats that are don't have much to do. Mm. You know, man just sends on Fandak boy. Yeah, and then someone comes. Yeah, I'm Fnuk Fnuk striker Fandak chance. Yeah, yeah. Kuna matulita kunenzogo. Because you buy, you can buy a strike. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? That's mm. money can get you a lot of things in this country. <laughs> you can buy a strike. You can go, gents. I need five thousand people tomorrow. I need to mobilize. Okay. First thing they ask: Will there be food and drinks? We are there. Mm. You no, can no, you're right. Money for can a plate, you anything for a plate. You can get a strike. So yeah, that's. I mean, AK got you a snow bunny. Marwan wins a snow bunny. Did she go? Oh, meet my boyfriend, Keenan, aka. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did what all nobodies did. It's like, um, I think I should give you two a minute to speak. <laughs> um, your take on Julius Malema and the EFF? Ha! Julius Malema and the EFF. The EFF is a necessary evil. And, yeah. and, I, and I'm not calling them an evil. I'm just saying they are a necessary yeah. evil. Yeah. Um, they get shit done. Yeah. Everything the EFF said they were going to do, they have done. And they've got the NC on the... On their toes. On their toes. On their toes. On their toes. Yeah. Yeah. On their toes. It's like a side chick, you know. She has the main chick. Remember, during, during, during the, the, the elections, uh, who was it? Was it Ace? Who was busy saying, ah, okay, Julius, we've seen, man. Okay, come home now. <laughs> well done. Okay, sorry, hey. Sorry, Chubes. Sorry. Come home. No, but, but, but here's the thing. The EFF has done everything they said they were going to do. They said they were going to make Zuma pay back the money. They made him pay back the money. Mm. We're still paying. Mm. We don't know if it's been fully paid. They said they were going to kick Barclays out. Remember, they, mm. were, they were going to protect. They, they got that. Yeah. They said they were going to get what, what the group does. They got that. And he's good material for you, eh? Julius. Julius. Yeah. Julius he is. But here's, here's what, here's what I, I, I don't s- subscribe to doing political jokes. Oh, okay. Right? Purely because... I'm like, there's a whole lot more I can talk about. Nice. Everyone, everyone can do politics. Yes. It's easy. And also, here's another thing I found. I don't know if you've seen it over the years. Parliament is just funny by itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you're just going to look yeah. like a reporter. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And then there was nothing <laughs> happening. And then someone was like, hey, Ringo, don't you want to fill in the gap <laughs> and sing us a song? Because that is that's a, a routine. <laughs> that's a routine. Yeah, that's a routine. Yes. So Parliament is entertaining on its own. Yeah. And and for me, I feel like as comedians, we have the platform. I mean, like Trevor, my father was rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mind it. Won't pick it up. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Now nah, talk. So so for me, someone like Julius, I love what he's doing. Mm. I love what he's doing because he's putting the ANC in check. Yeah. He's going, I'm right here, gents. Whatever you do, I'm right. Because the way I look at it, the ANC, the, the DA, and the EFF are like three dudes. And we, the country, are the chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. name is Democracy. We are 25 years young. Mm. And every time elections come, these are the three dudes who are trying to mac on us. Mm. You know, you've got Shit. the ANC who's... The older guy. The blesser. The blesser. The guy who can't get out of here otherwise who's going to pay for the bill. Yeah. Upra Edi, you know? Yeah, yeah. Upra Edi. <laughs> Anybody knows a prasam? Yeah. Upra Edi. <laughs> ah, man. Shampopo for my girls. <laughs> come on. Come on. EFF is that boyfriend. You know that boyfriend that, like, he can fix anything in the house? <laughs> <laughs> He's a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> but his bank account is yeah. not so. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the hood calls him Abu Temba. Abu Temba. Abu Temba. Even your mom calls him Abu yeah. Temba. <laughs> Sorry, Abu Temba. Who call him Tanan? Abu Temba is that guy, like, 
He can't buy you shampoo, but he can fix anything you anything. want. Anything, man, you can break the cup. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah. But Temba's that guy. Mm. And then the DA is that dude, you know? The one who goes to matric vac. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the tonight we're getting uh, fucked. Uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> he relaxes his head. His name's Chippy, <laughs> not Chippy. <Seb, Chepi. laughs> and if you call him Chippy, yeah, hey, who the fuck's that? Oh, she's called Chippy. <laughs> and he gets angry for black people who speak to him in Venak. Yeah. So the man for order. What makes you think I can hear what you say? <laughs> 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 Hey, and everyone else, uh, the guys trying to get in the club. Yeah. I'm going to get my bottom in the club. Saud. Oh, man. My friend is inside. Let me, okay, let me go. I'm going to leave these guys here. And then I'm going to look inside. Oh, and the God. guys are saying he's going to leave, then it's going to the bus. Yeah. We're not with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, man. If you could have dinner with one person, <laughs> Jacob Zuma, Bonang Mateba, Mateba or Patrice Mutsipe? It would have to definitely be Jacob Zuma. Nah. I would definitely I'd be love Jacob too, Zuma. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. De- like I said, Jacob, Jacob's like, like I said, he's like our grand, he's like our uncle, he's like our dad, you yeah. know? I think I'd learn more life lessons mm. from a Jacob Zuma. More than Bill Cosby. Um, hey, Antoine, hey, I was at, I met Bill Cosby. Yeah. I had tea at his house. <laughs> <laughs> love Uga the next day. <laughs> I can't remember what happened. <laughs> but I, lately, that sounds very familiar. Lately, <laughs> sitting, sitting is uncomfortable. Is <laughs> oh, uh, No, no. Mm. Just joking. Bo. No, I'm not going to support Bo right now. Uh, last question. There was a comedian, right? Who ran for elections in the Ukraine. And he won. Yes. Yes, sir. Do you think any comedian Nese could run? Yeah. Ne? I think, I think if Trevor pulled the, you know what, I'm going back home. Shit is fucked up. I need to save South Africa on some Captain America. Is it coming back to Africa or? Yeah, like like if like imagine at the height of his Daily Show career, maybe some shit happens in SA and Trevor goes, no, actually no, I need to go home and save my people. Yeah, and he came home and he started a political party and a movement and. He would get tremendous amount of support. He would win it hands down. Yes, and even 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 someone like a, like a Luis Ocola. and I'll tell you why. Comedians are doing what politicians used to do back then. Mm. Politicians used to tell the truth back then. Mm. That's why people would stop and gather and come and listen to them because these guys were spitting the truth. Yeah, because they were living in a time when they were being silenced. Now, most politicians are just pu- uh, pushing political agendas. Yes, yes. Right? So Trying to secure the bag. Trying to secure the bag. Trying to convince you otherwise. So, comedians right now are the only people who still tell the truth. See, I brought you an audience. <laughs> Kid us. Kid us. <laughs> Can see ANC members. Yeah. See. yeah. They always have those roles behind their heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get in. <laughs> Uban, man. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. Upo Pops, dude. Fuck it hell. Remember brother. so much, so much. Thank the you so Chisel much. The McChisel isn't just a game. Uh, Good luck for the rest of the leather, boy. Thanks, man. <laughs> One episode at a time. Um, nationwide tour, man. Yes. Black so in my day. I'm doing my nationwide tour, Black in my day. Uh, I've done Port Elizabeth, started a, my show off with a bang. Mm. I'm doing uh, a Val Sasselberg area at uh, Etienne Rousseau Theatre on the 6th of July. Mm. Then I moved the show to uh, Cape Town yeah. at the Fine Ice. And then that's the 26th, 27th July. Then I have 10th August in Klagstorp and, te- and 24th August at Gold Reef City Casino in Joburg. Yo. Black in my day. Yeah. It's, uh, it's stories about... Childhood, yeah. My childhood, yeah. and how, how it was navigating as a black person mm-hmm. in those days, yeah. uh, and the different struggles and uh, the different um, challenges we faced. And yeah, yeah man, your, your, just, your, your manager funny. sent me the, the press release. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, clearly she doesn't know me. I mean, reading this shit. <laughs> I ain't got time, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to put it that way because you know a lot of people get scared. Yeah. Why, 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 why does this black day stuff? 
Now we, we can't support. Hey, there's some radio stations that be like, no, nah, I don't think it's for our audiences. Why do like, every comedian? What does every comedian do a tour? You guys make guap, ne? We do, we do. Mm-hmm. But more than making guap, it's also just about reach, man. Yeah, like, expanding people, your reach. Pe- people don't travel for comedy. It's something we found. People will rather wait for the show to come to them. I see. You know what I mean? So, so whereas people will go, let's leave Limpopo and go support Casper, fill up the dome. Mm. Peop- it, with comedy, people will go, hey, Limpopo's doing uh, his one man. Yo, I'll, I'm going to wait for him to bring it here yeah. uh, at Marupa Casino. And so... That's, that's what we've realized over the years, and that's why it's important to touch base with all these different people. Because everyone has access to internet, yeah. so people know you. Yeah. Even in the, in the towns where you might not think there's network, there's network. You, you go, you do a show in Tlaxdorp, and va, there's 500 people in Boom. the theater. You're like, how? Because mm. people are there, people support you, and when given the chance to see you, they'll come out. Mpo, thank you so much for My chilling brother. with me, bro. Dude, you got to manage me, bro. I've never done Hosted the Summers. I've never done an ad. My man, Anton, who is your sangom? <laughs> you, said Ke- you said Kelly was here last time. Kulman or Kelly, boy. Need to sell in your Kelly, boy. You need to slot. You need to slot. Are yeah. you circumcised also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because yeah. that's something they check. Circumcision? <laughs> Tick. <laughs> uh, I'm for Pops, man. Do you check him out? Uh, black in my day yes. nationwide yes oh man this has been hilarious do you talk about some of the stuff in your show or oh, this was just for me this is just for you oh man. my nigga <laughs> my nigga <laughs> come to the shows <laughs> other stuff podcast and chill Matt G the ghost lady and Len Moleko